Next up is a topic that I've touched on several times in the past few videos, but this subsection is specifically talking about trying to minimize the sexual ego. Some lucid dreamers become fixated on these sexual aspects of their lucid dreams in the earlier part of their travels and later become interested in using their dreams towards a different end. Generally, when the habit of seeking sexual gratification in lucid dreams has been built, so like the whole neuroplasticity thing again, these dreamers do find it challenging to move on to other goals. And then this next part's important and gets missed sometimes. It's only when they try to avoid the behavior that they realize their subconscious mind has also been accommodating them in their endeavors. You know, and this kind of goes with anything you're trying to get done in your lucid dreams, but definitely, you know, for anyone who gets stuck in this sexual gratification loop within their dreams, you know, they'll start looking for specific types of experiences, right? So then, in a way, now it's not like you're training your subconscious mind, but you're showing your subconscious mind that you're going for a particular type of experience, and then lo and behold, your subconscious mind will start, you know, accommodating that. So if you're trying to move on past that and stop having sex in so many of your lucid dreams, you really just have to kind of do everything in reverse and really reinforce the idea that you're trying to move past it. So, you know, you can do that any number of ways. Just try to keep the thought in your mind throughout the day. You can put a random alarm generator on your phone. Every time you hear it go off, you can remind yourself that you're trying to move past that. You could use some sort of mild affirmation or some sort of mantra or something like that. But really when it comes down to it, what you're trying to do is dream incubate the idea enough into your head that next time you get lucid, you will remember that you're trying to move past this, right? Because you could be thinking about it in the daytime, okay, I don't want to have so much sex in my lucid dreams, but then you'll go ahead and get lucid. And because, you know, your neural pathways of just always doing that in your dreams are so are, are so ingrained, it won't even cross your mind. You won't even remember that you're trying not to do it. So, you know, once you get it sunk deep enough into your head that that thought will cross your mind when you do get lucid, then the next very important step is actually refraining from doing it, right? Because you'd be surprised, but sometimes, you know, when you're trying to stop something like that, your, your, your subconscious mind could offer up just like the most alluring situation possible. It's almost like it's testing you to see if, okay, you sure you want to stop doing this? And it'll just throw the situation at you. So in those situations, it's very important to, you know, decline and be like, okay, no, I was serious. I don't want to do that. I'll go do something else. And then eventually, you know, get to the point to where you actually have, a, um, you know, where you have enough control over it because... I don't think any lucid dreamer would probably ever completely stop having sex ever in their lucid dreams, you know. I still imagine it would happen occasionally, but at least when you get control of it, you can kind of, you know, decide when you do and, and when you don't want to do it. But anyway, that'll wrap it up. Until the next video, keep the lucid dreaming practice legit.